guys, it's Hafei. I'm back again. I am going to film a quick unboxing of this month's Bella Box. Um, I did open it and have a quick look, but I can't actually remember what's in here, except for one lipstick, I think. Uh, yeah, so usual packaging, little blue box. Um, see, I opened it, that's why. And normally it comes sealed up like that. It always comes with a card that tells you the theme for the month. So this month it is Cutting Edge Beauty, the May box. On the back it tells you what you got um, and how much the recommended retail is. Down the bottom of the box, they have an ingredients card for some of the products. This is for three of the products. So they may not have ingredients on the actual packaging, so they give you one. This has a lot of ingredients. This is a one product. It's right here. Um, yeah, so that's a lot. Um, there is, this is something that is in the box. Um, it is a flyer for the particular product. Which, okay, interesting. So we will start with that one. Um, this is Tough Hands for Her by Do It. Intensive skin repair for dry, irritated hands. So it has sweet almond, panethanol, and peptides in it. Um, a visible effect within five days, apparently. That is a big claim, I have to say. Um, so that is interesting. So that's what this little flyer is about talks about all the products in it. It's actually got some urea in it, which is quite moisturizing, even though it is basically pee. Um, hmm. So yeah, they reckon in five days you will actually notice the results. So that is an interesting product. This is clearly a full size, 75 grams. So we'll just have a look at what. So this is worth $10. Um, you can get it from Chemist Warehouse and Priceline in Australia. Um, I don't know. This is made in Australia. So this is an Australian product, which is cool. There you go. Um, this is the bonus item. Um, it is just some body wash. This is literally one use of body wash from Nature's Common Sense. This is the poor, poor one. I think I've had this before. Um, yeah, I don't even tell you how much it's worth. That's literally how much they don't care. Um, and next we have the QV Intensive Moisturizing Cleanser for extremely dry skin. Um, this is probably quite good for me. My skin is getting drier as I get older. Um, so I will use this probably go and put it in my shower. That's how I generally use these little cleanser samples up um, in between using my preferred cleanser. So this one is um, worth $16.30 for 250 grams. Um, and QV is a pretty good brand, especially if you've got like super sensitive skin. Um, it's a good brand to go for. Um, and apparently this is supposed to moisturize as well, but I would always moisturize anyway. Okay, we have our La Roche Posay Effaclar Duo uh, Corrective Unclogging Anti Imperfection Anti Mask Anti Recurrence. This is basically meant for oily and acne prone skin. Um, yeah, a corrective unclogging care product for acne prone skin, anti imperfections, anti marks, anti recurrence, targets severe and recurring imperfections, clogged pores, and persistent marks, visible results after 12 hours on 43 subjects. Yeah, I'm not, I'm sorry. Statistically, that is not a generalizable sample so um, I would actually completely ignore those results quite frankly um, this is 15 mil full size is 29.99 for 40 mils 
So, uh, yeah, I will probably pass this on to my daughter who has um, issues with acne, which um, I have a couple of spots, but not the same issues that she has. Um, I'll just take it out of the box. So, that's literally what it looks like. It's basically just a spot treatment for, I mean, that's pretty much how I would use it. It doesn't actually have any use morning or evening on the face. That is literally the uh, instructions on this, which is ridiculous. That doesn't really tell you anything. Um, the thing with um, La Roche Posay products is it's always really hard to work out um, how to use it because they have so many languages on the box which I'm sure is great because they obviously sell in lots of different places but it's very confusing so I've now found on the side here right here this little bit here it's literally like two lines that say apply to whole face morning and or evening that is the, in, the totality of the English instructions on here it's yeah that is that is that. So that is interesting. Um, yeah. All right. So the la second to last thing. Interesting. One of the things, actually, two of the things that are on the ingredients card are not in my box. Oh, sorry. I just read the top of the piece of paper. It said they may not be in your box. <laughs> okay. So this is a perfume sample. Actually, it's an eau de toilette, let's be more precise. And it is in rose, which, yeah, okay. Um, I don't dislike rose. I quite like rose in certain situations. It depends on how rosy it is. This is by Solly Notes Harry. Um, a roll-on eau de toilette. It has um, bergamot, lychee, rose, magnolia, and a hint of cedarwood. I'm trying to get the roller to actually dispense the product. I can start to smell it now. I can't actually feel it on my skin. Like, I'm not getting a wet spot on my skin, which means the roll is not working properly. Wow, that's interesting. I mean, it smells okay, it just does not appear to be... Um, like, you can smell it, but it doesn't appear to be dispensing. Oh, look there, I got a little bit... It's okay, it's not the best fragrance I've ever smelled. It's not worse either. I mean, I don't generally use fragrance a lot. Um, this is kind of the format that I would prefer mine to be in. So either sprays or rollables. Um, not those ones that you have to like pull the little drippery thing out. Because um, this makes mess less mess. Um, and the fact that it has... Puts it back in a box and then decides to... Take it. it has a lid over the top of the rollerball and it's a screw on lid yeah so less mess so that's interesting apparently um this one does not tell me okay so this is a 10 mil so 10 mil of this is ten dollars you can also get um an eau de parfum spray um it doesn't tell me how much that is, but apparently there's a 50 ml eau de parfum fray, a spray, rather than the eau de toilette. Eau de toilette tends to be a little less intense, a little less strong than an eau de parfum, um, at least in my experience. But um, I could be wrong. Um, Aiden could probably tell me more about that. Um, she's the fragrance queen in my little circle. Um, and last but not least, we have this lipstick, which I actually opened already, which is why the label is cut and not in the same spot, because I didn't put it back in the same spot. 
the packaging on this is gorgeous. It's like this marbly kind of effect. It's like really cool. This reminds me of the blanks that um, wood turners and the like used to make pens out of. It's got that look to it. But it is very light plastic. It's like it's not heavy or anything. It's super light actually. Um, so this is a Style London Hydrating Mousse Matte Lipstick. There was um, four shades that it could come in. Pink, Peony, Rosewood, Red Velvet and Berry Crush. This is $15 Australian for this, which is clearly full size, which is 3.8 grams. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to provide a perfect matte finish without drying out your lips. So the colour that I got is Berry Crush, which I am not unhappy about. Um, you did get the option to pick, but I didn't even bother. So that is what colour it is. It's very berry. It's quite a dark berry. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Goes on really nicely, feels really smooth. Um, it doesn't look like it'll be too patchy. Of course, I would have to try it out to find out for sure. Um, as I said, the packaging is uh, gorgeous. It's very square and clunky with really like sharp edges, so one would need to be careful. Um, it's not magnetic, so I would not recommend putting it in a bag because this comes off very easily. Um, but yeah, interesting colour. Um, supposed to dry down to a matte. I don't know how long that takes, but interesting. So, um, yeah, uh, I would, you know, I'll use this one, I'll, I'll wear this. It's a colour that I like, like a dark berry colour, it's a colour I like. So those are both fine. That, either I'll use it or I'll give it to my hubby. Strangely enough, I know it says for her, but I would give it to my hubby because he's always asking me for hand cream. Um, of course, I'll use the sample at some point. I'm not sure about the fragrance. It is what it is. And this will probably go to my daughter. So not the worst Bella Box I've had, not the best Bella Box I've had. A pretty decent Bella Box, though, for a $20 box, pretty much this and this together uh, pay for the value of the box so you know a few extras on top not bad at all uh, yeah so that is it for this video if you want to subscribe and click the button down there click the little bell if you want to get notified of when I upload new content leave me a thumbs up if you like unboxing type videos and leave me a comment down below I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video see ya